Hi everyone, and welcome back to Bandit and Me, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. Um, so we have one unfinished puzzle that I've given a pretty good think to. Um, so when we get back into the game, let's tackle that right away. All right, all right, guys, we'll grab something cozy and let's get started. Oh, let me make sure my sounds are off. <laughs> Love this game. There's Dave. Okay. We got uh, the, the will to explore. Let's grab our map. So... I was thinking about this really hard, and it doesn't show. Let me go. It was. Is it Simone? No. Okay. Oh, I took a picture. That's right. Sorry, guys. So, those twigs, I thought they were, like, directions. And I don't think I was wrong in assuming that. But I was assuming that they were all kinds of arrows. And, okay, let me pull this up. There we go. Guys, I think they're numbers. Okay, so our original note, um, near the source of the river mouth, west from Sedberg. Okay, so... The Sedberg. So heading west. River Winster. Well, here that is there. So that's here. So, thinking about our little sticks, the second and fourth icon don't actually have arrowheads. And I was mistaken. I think, in fact, one, two, one, two, three. I think. So, like, Kitty Corner from Sizer Castle, I think that's where we're going. Aha! The camp at the Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh, yes, yes, ho, 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 ho. The man says, you must take this. Take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on top. Ha ha, it's no use to me anymore. Ha ha, no use. Don't forget the red, the red, the red, the red. Ahoy, Albany. So we're going to collect an item and a letter. I'm sure that he is quite mad. The red, ha ha, Albany. All right, so now we have a looking glass. Well, it makes me wonder. Okay, let's put that away just for now. It said the red albany plant has the property of uncovering what is hidden or secret. I perfected a device designed to use to, designed to use extract from the plant 
in concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Okay. Well, we're going to stick that in our archive, put our map away. Hmm. The red oddity. I don't think we know that one yet, do we? No. Okay. We're going to close this up. All right. So we almost have the desire. Five miles south of the tallest but one. It grows in peace of the midday sun. Well, let's resolve this next before we open our shop. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. It feels so much better now. Five miles south of the tallest but one. It grows in peace of the midday sun. Five miles south of the tallest but one. All right. Okay, here we go. 902, 9859. This is 873. Is anything between 9 and 873? No. No, wait. 899. The Great Gable. Five miles south. Okay. Time to explore. Five miles south. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's okay. Five miles south of the tallest but one. It grows in peace of the midday sun. The rusty gate hangs open where I left it. I have no desire to enter the dark tunnel again. Okay. Come back to that. Five miles south of the tallest but one. Oh, maybe it's Balfell? I didn't see this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll come back to that. But there's only so many peaks, you know? I'm gonna play with that. But, let's open the shop. Anne Wood. Hello, Anne Wood. I was able to strip away the swift snars vines and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the gray ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's scepter, I awake. I guess we're looking for Solomon's scepter. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn, the flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and satanic practices. Many sweet, many sweet smelling small flowers grow along the stem. Okay. I think we started to like bundle together our sweet smelling things. Okay. And then there's no check mark, so. smell like rhubarb. I feel like that's many small. Okay, let's 
This is our berry troop over here, I think. No? Yeah, that's fruit. Bright red. Yeah. Any small. There we go. Get these. Okay, that doesn't have a fragrance. The smell is alluring. Yeah. Plant identified. Long Veracoon. Sometimes called Witch's Remedy, the Long Veracoon is believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stems. Okay, let's try this again between customers, of course. So maybe it's that 902. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh! The forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song, bird song feels enchanting like the call of sirens. Nested in the undergrowth under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. I thought it grew in the sun. Whoa! Is it one of those like neat plants? That's what it looks like to me. Here, let's check it out. A large blue flower with an odd protrusion. Yeah, I bet it smells like rotten meat. You know. Haha! Oh. -ha! Clue of the day. Resolved. I love it. Hey, it's a pest man. Hey, David. I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up near the Swinside Stone Circle. Hmm. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem bothered by it, but it got them panicked down Foxfield Way. Thanks, David. Let's open our post. Ooh! Kent Mere Eye. Is that a clue? It's a letter. Tent near eye. That sounds like like a lake. But maybe that's just because in Skyrim there's Mara's eye and that's a Kent near eye. Foxfield swing side. Hmm. But that could also be a plant. Kent near eye. Kent What's the stone circle? You guys want to go to Kent I want to go to Kent I descend into a pleasant valley where the village of Kentmere is situated. On my way back, I pass the rock stone or badger rock which has always been popular with local children who challenge each other to scramble up its craggy sides. I make a beeline to the village church, St. Cuthbert's, which is sheltered by an ancient yew tree. There are many plants to admire amongst the headstones and tombs, but sadly nothing extraordinary for me to find today. Hmm. Kent near eye. Interesting. We'll come back to- oh wait! I don't really know how to use this thing. Can we put this together? No. Okay, they don't work together. Combine, please! Alright. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed gilded dendra that was used at the Swinside ritual site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that's used in several of the darker incantations. And it can be it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between the other murder and the sisterhood. 
We need some mental clarity to think it through some more. Alright, let's get you some Maiden Sorrow. Do we know Maiden Sorrow? We don't. Let's take a look. Rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focus. The flowers of this plant droop mournfully, but it's the thorns along the stem that lend its name. Okay, well we have some, some fine thorny plants, right? Mournfully. Yeah. The other one's not so droopy. Oh. We've been holding on to that one from like the first day. Alright. Maiden Sorrow. Ah, rad, red ebony. This plant is said to uncover that which is hidden, including buried treasure and secret writings. I think we need to use that with this. The red ebony is extremely rare and not well studied. Blood has been spilled over this plant, which is where the red part of the name is believed to come from, since confusingly the large flower is in fact blue. like this large flower. Okay, well let's put our Maiden Sorrow away. Look at our cute tidy little shelves. I love it. Just kind of keep it all together. It'll be easier to see if I don't have to like scramble back and forth between screens. Um... Just so I can remember. It looks like I'm going to have to make a trip to Black Home. Verona noticed something at the Spinside site that had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on the drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around here where you get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting that I saw something up at the black at the black home. But again, Bradley Miller does claim the fairy stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend the night out in the hills, I want to take some Eyebright with me. Don't we know what Eyebright is? Or am I thinking of a different game? No, we don't. Eyebright. It's probably the other thorny one. Take care not to touch the brightly colored thorns. They do not do lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause severe pain for several days. The plant that only grows to the south in warmer climates, where they call it loath after a long dead king, known to improve eyesight at night even in the darkest places. Well, guys, I don't, I don't think we have any other thorny plants. Hello, Eyebright. Wild coal. Purple berries, huh? Yeah, scoot over. Let me zoom in. I have perfected a device designed to designed to use extract from the plant in concert with viewing a window in, a view in order to permit the user to see magic otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Mm -hmm. 
hidden text. <gasps> ah! Okay. Okay, there's nothing on here, but let's go ahead. Ugh. Tomb of the Hunter, the Great Oak. Okay, well, we've got three hidden locations. Whoever wrote on my map has been very helpful. I never would have thought to come out to this desolate place in search of plant life, but a quick search yields exciting results. Oh, that's a cool plant. There's a strong, sweet aroma. What's with all these sweet smelling plants? Okay, so is it like... The Great Oak and Tomb of the Hunter. Kent Mir I. Just, I don't know, you would think, right? Let's wait on another customer. Oh, Forest Bear. Does it ever stop raining in un Undermere? You have a reputation in, plant in town for knowing about unusual plants. I need some gray sand fire. Nobody around here seems to even know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place now. Let's consult my book. Gray sand fire. Oh, I think we've been holding on to this for quite a while. Yeah, it's gotta be this. Yes, finally. Ember soul is thought to have protective properties. It is sometimes given an offering to various deities and returned for sanctuary. It produces flowers with many petals. Watch out for the leaves. They're razor sharp. Okay, we've got... Okay. We're going to hold on to this guy because I think we're going to be using it often. But... What do you say we go on a little bit more of an adventure? Grand Oak. So it's one above there. With that patch of trees. A huge trace, a huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could have ever imagined. Any living thing might be. Its upper branches graze the sky. Interesting. Okay. Um. Let's put this away for a moment. I'm just curious. Okay, so nothing on our little. Oh, that's. Oh, that's interesting. That glows. wondering if any of these change color. I don't think so, but not yet. It works. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, nothing there. Just interesting.
Well, let's go check out the Hunter's Cave. north of Thalfell. The memorial bears the name Swath Prior. It stirs a memory, who is one of the Dreyer. Theirs is a lonely life in the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the Dranthian sap in childhood that they may benefit from its potent effects but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. Hmm, I wonder what that might be. Hmm, still not sure what this is about. Kent Near Eye. Let's take one more look at the map and then we'll probably just call it a day. Kent Near. not actually Kent here though, so we will have to wait on that. But man, look, we have a cool, cool tool guy. Like, it's, yeah, it's a little far away for no reason. Alright, let's end the day and see what, like, tarot card? I guess that's what we're getting. Lockwick to Ilgil Head, Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. At first she felt free, but it wasn't long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually she made her way to Grisdale Forest. Bum bum bum, day eight. All right. Is where are we going to leave today? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for hanging out. This was a really productive episode. Um, I'm glad I went back. I was literally just like flipping through my phone and I was like, these don't have arrows. So, alrighty guys, take care and as always, happy sipping.